My name is Jenny Rhodes. I work for the University of Maryland Extension. I'm a county ag agent here in uh, Queen Anne's County, and we've got a couple other um, ag agents. Shannon Dill is here from uh, Talbot County, and there's Shannon. Shannon, everybody see Shannon? And Nate Richard um, is here from Kent County. He's probably wandering around somewhere. So, And lots of other people uh, helping us. So welcome to our annual Agronomy Day. Thank you all for coming. Um, lots to do today, lots of education uh, to share. The most important, make sure you get signed in for your nutrient management credits. So we have Maryland and Delaware nutrient management credits. We have private applicator um, pesticide credits for Maryland and Delaware. And also in Maryland, we're going to be doing um, some commercial category. Don Webster is here at 1045. We'll go into the meeting room. Anybody that needs aquatic can uh, move into there. So make sure that you get signed up for that. Um, first thing, this afternoon we're going to be doing um, dicamba training. So anybody that's going to be applying any dicamba product to round up ready soybeans or cotton, we don't have cotton here, but I went back and read last night to make sure, um, has to have a separate training. So who's interested in that this afternoon after lunch? Raise your hand so I know. Okay. All right. Good. So we will do that. If we can all fit in the meeting room, we'll do that in the meeting room um, after lunch. And Bill Bolin will be here uh, to do that. So I just want to make sure we had enough people. There will be a sign in and sign out for that. That's a se separate certification from your private applicator that we're doing today. So that's why we have to do that in the afternoon. So everybody on their chairs got a uh, agenda. You know, we don't always stick to our agenda. We never stay on time here, but we'll try. The lunch crew told me I need to stay on time. Uh, on the back is all the sponsors, so uh, this day would not be possible uh, without all the sponsors here, so uh, make sure you visit them and thank them. And then you also got, as part of your training, uh, you have to know what went on in the Maryland Department of Ag, and to take a look at that, there's an online renewal now for your pest private applicator um, license. If you do not want to go online, you can call the Maryland Department of Ag and they will send you a paper copy so you can mail them a check. But most important, we've got a lot of people with license expiring this year, so I want to make sure we get everybody uh, recertified, most important. Dave Parks is here. Where's, I don't know if Dave is in here. There's Dave. So Dave Parks now works for the Maryland Department of Ag, so he is my um, go-to person. If we have any drift problems or anything, I'm calling him. So we usually go out and, and start the investigation, but Dave will be our go-to. And Dave will also, if anybody needs to take uh, the test, um, we have the books at our office, and then I'll schedule Dave to come in and, and take tests, so we can do that. Um, so take a look at that. We had a pretty good um, year last year, not a whole lot of um, ag complaints, but of course, ag complaints are usually drift. So we're going to talk about drift today, of course. Um, next Friday, we will be having our um, pretty much annual organic production workshop. That's going to be at Chesapeake College. So we're going to talk about organic grain, poultry, vegetable, and dairy production. In the morning, I'm going to have a panel of, I'll uh, say, young next generation uh, speakers, and then after that, we'll have a panel of scientists. So, you know, my job is to bring research-based information um, to the community, but also to let the researchers know what the community needs. So this is a great, um, hopefully we'll have some good dialogue, and then we'll have some breakouts uh, in the afternoon. So that uh, is on your... Um, on your chair. I think that's, there might be a couple other things, but that's probably enough for now.